Bethany is also really good at what she does. She's improved a lot. But we're at this tired part of a show where we already talked about our matches of the week, but we are going to talk about our King of the Night. And for everybody watching right now, we do have a very special King of the Night that I don't think you will see coming. It was a unanimous selection. And it's this guy. Some of you guys might know this face. Um, it's a very legendary face in the world of uh, wrestling podcasting of the past, God, I don't know, five years. His name is Anthony Stefano. You guys might know him from a show called Ran With Dan, a very popular show uh, for its time. Uh, Ran With Dan is the reason that Kings of the Rings podcast and WrestleAttic Radio is kind of the thing. Uh, Ran With Ant... Or Anthony the Stefano, we call him Rant, as a lot of people said, uh, is in is one of the most generous people that I have ever met. I remember um, when we met him uh, at the Royal Rumble when we were in Philly. Rumble, yeah, yep. Rumble in Philly. Um, he he didn't he was very popular then, um, but and he didn't have to take time out to talk to me, my uh, myself, Will, and Dave, but he did. He stayed with us. He invited us with, to all his people. That's where I met Mance for the first time, I believe. Or G-Rod, not Mance. Uh, G-Rod, Antisocial Kim was there, I believe, as well. That's what we met. Oh, my God. Yeah, right? That's what we met Issa as well for the first time. <laughs> yeah, and he took us on the wing. He took pictures with us. He even gave us advice. I slipped him a business card, and he actually listened to us. You know, he listened to us, and he actually enjoyed us, and he started promoting us, and then when he decided to bring us on board to what he was trying to build at the time, I remember one of our questions for him when we had a giant phone conference, he was, we asked him, what do you want, what do you need us to change? And he said, absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell yeah. He said, Which honestly yeah. was, was, a, was a big, big, big breaking point for me. Yeah. It's like, if you want to bring us on the network, fine. But what are the ground rules? And it's like, if you want us to change, well, I'd have to seriously think about it. And he said absolutely nothing. It's like, oh, thank God, this guy has confidence in us. He can deal with my shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> that that was that was just that was just the breaking point. It's like, all right, let's do this. That's a hundred percent do this. It's the right call. Yeah. You know, and is is like Bill Alfred. He said he's a very kind guy. He's a loving father. Two beautiful daughters. A beautiful wife. A beautiful family. Absolutely. I see it all. He posts about it all the time. It's fucking. They had. They have a the American Dream family. Seriously, yeah. it's like talk. You want to talk about? You think I'm jealous of fucking Cameron Grimes' chest hand? No, no. I want. I want this fucking guy's family. <laughs> 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 yeah. But yeah, just an amazing human being, a, a great friend. You know, a great graphic designer. He's made a countless things for Most us. Most of the logos yeah. you see on the show <laughs> were made by him. Yeah, super talented. <laughs> yeah, super talented. This man works his ass off, and even when he was running WrestleAttic right at the time, no matter how busy he was, and well, you can attest to this, he was always in a group chat at least once a week saying, what do you guys need from me? What can I do to help you mm -hmm. at any point? And, there's, and, and you know, fortunately, he had to... Um, you know, he he had to let this he had to let this podcast life go, and he moved on to other things because you know he has a family to raise, and he's now a Twitch streamer. Game of Ant, go check him out. Uh, and we couldn't thank Ant enough for all that he's done for us. And we unfortunately got the news uh, a couple of days ago, um, earlier this week, that Ant's older brother Gregory De Stefano unfortunately passed away if anybody knows and and you would know that Anne has an older brother named greg who was very very sick uh since uh since greg was 10 he was suffering from pediatric cancer he was wheelchair bound i believe um and he started to decline uh several weeks ago very dramatically and drastically and unfortunately uh anthony de stefano lost his brother gregory um, earlier this week, uh, and is in, you know, if anybody has reached out to him, just send him some well wishes, because I can tell you right now, he is not having an easy go with this, and who would? He lost his brother, his older brother, somebody he looked up to no matter what, somebody he cared so, so very deeply about, and one of the things that we, that we mentioned already about Anne is that he's a very generous and giving person, even though his brother did pass away he still wanted to do something to honor his brother and to in the in the um to be charitable to at least somebody else to kind of pay it for it anthony de stefano is a and rant is a big paid forward guy it's one of the pillars of wrestling radio and kings of the rings podcast we try to be charitable in 
many, many different ways. And so what we're n we're letting you know, we're not asking you, um, but we strongly suggest uh, that you help Ant out um, and to, to honor his brother and for everything that he's done for us and for just the general wrestling podcast community. Like, you don't understand how much of a weight Anthony's name holds. Um, but Anthony put up this, uh, this, uh, this kind of like this GoFundMe, this donation page, and I'm going to read it for you, uh, right now. It's from Make-A-Wish, New Jersey, and it states, this page is the honor, uh, and memorialize, uh, Greg DiStefano. As you may know, Greg battled pediatric cancer when he was just 10 years old. Greg's wish was for his family to go to Disney World to spend time together. During that trip, so many amazing memories were created. With Greg's passing, the family has decided to honor him, and you can donate, uh, and help another ch uh, child's dream come true. Greg loved children, and we know that it would be an honor to make a difference in a child's life during the most trying times. Now, I will tell you this right now. Uh, there's been so many donors. Ants put a goal of $2,500, and I can tell you right now, they are currently, at the time of this recording, at $9,165. Oh, yes. Right now. And wow. Yeah. That's amazing. And if anybody has knows anything about the Make a Wish Foundation, it's one of the biggest foundations that you can think of. WWE partners with Make a Wish a ton of times. John Cena has done the most Make a Wishes in the history of the Make a Wish Foundation. It's a very great organization. A lot of the children that you see that show up on WWE are from the Make a Wish Foundation. You know when they um and also you know Susan G. Komen and pediatric cancer. Um, so we're strongly suggesting that if you can. Uh, donate to a great cause in honor of our great friend, Ant DeStefano's uh, late brother. We are going to drop a link in the description uh, of this post on our video and of our audio stream. It's going to be the first thing you see. Uh, any money that you can drop uh, is greatly appreciated. I'm going to be personally doing one. We've already made a donation uh, on behalf of all of War. Thank you so much, Man's Chapel. Um... And we just want to take this time right now, I want to do it right now, and I'll let you guys also speak as well, because uh, I do need to get a drink of water, that Anthony, uh, we love you, we are thinking about you, and thank you so much for giving myself and Will and Kate the opportunity to, as you like to always say, keep wrestling Will. Real, not Will, sorry. Yeah, keep it Will. <laughs> keep, 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 uh, keep it Will. Yeah. Do not Nobody keep it Will. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> keep it real. Um, I, I want to make a shirt for you that says keep, Rest keep wrestling Will. I think I just came up with a shirt <laughs> idea. I think I just came up with a shirt idea. Keep wrestling Will. I love it. Um, but Will, any thoughts? All right, I'll, I'll fuck around with that. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's going to tell me not to get rid of Peacock. Keep wrestling Will. Keep wrestling. <laughs> keep it. Don't get rid of it. Keep it. Keep wrestling comma, I know they're going to edit out when Jericho punched Michael's wife. But, <laughs> but but I think I think I think one of the one of the most things I look up to about Rant, you know, I mean, I I know him. We're not me and him aren't actually incredibly close as like as you are, Ricky, Ricky, you yeah. are, or as Dave is, or as some other members of Us Fact Radio are. That's just because I'm just not big on social. But like in person, you know, I talked to Rant. He's a great guy. But the thing I look up to him the most is his leadership. Um, yeah. he really is a natural leader he is a very smart guy he's a very creative guy especially in the podcasting world so i do draw inspiration from him when it comes to creating content and leading 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 content leading a podcast leading a group leading a company like fuck um and biggest podcast solutions you know definitely some of the things i want to do in leadership is going to come from an example this guy set yeah so for sure um help this guy help help us help, help, help support the guy the guy works hard mm -hmm. again I can't. I can't put this guy over enough. Yeah, Kay Murphy, do you have anything? I don't think I do. Of course I do. <laughs> I mean, like Will said, nobody deserves to be put over more than Ant. And please help him. Please help his family, because it's fucking traumatic and that sucks. And like Will, I am not the closest with Ant either. But every time I've ever seen Ant at a show, he's been nothing but kind. We've had nothing but fun. And like we always bullshit about emo music, <laughs> <laughs> which is great because. Ant would probably die for the band they used. And, <laughs> yeah, like, you would. And, 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 and Lincoln Park. <laughs> and Lincoln Park. I would also die for Lincoln Park. So, like, we talk about all the time how good music was back in the day. Mm. And, um, but even when I, like, I've only been podcasting for two years now, which is fucking, wow, it's been two years yeah. already. But, like, throughout my career as a podcaster, he's always been very supportive and been nothing but kind. You know, he made my first logo, like. Yeah, he did. I owe a lot of. 
He did. I love that logo, and like, I owe a lot of my podcasting career to Ant, so mm. thank I you. I will say this for my conversations with Ant, okay? Ant adored you, and he was really happy that you came on. Oh. So, like I said, anything yeah, you... I do agree Yeah, he was very high on you. He was very, very high on you. Um, so... That makes me happy. Yeah, so that being said... Like, That's an honor. Yeah. Uh, so anything you can do to help out Anthony and, and his family and the Make-A-Wish Foundation, help make kids' wishes come true. Because I think we can get the $10,000 on it. So the donation is going to be in the link uh, below. Uh, <laughs>